Welcome to the video lessons. I'm going to discuss about salary, wage, income, and benefits. So for our learning objectives are to define salary, wage, income, and benefits, and to compute earnings in monthly, semi-monthly, weekly, and bi-weekly. So let's start in definition of terms. Number one, salary. So when we say salary, a fixed compensation periodically paid to a person for regular work or services. So salary is a fixed income. So for example, let's say na nahire ka sa isang company at inoforan ka ng 20,000 salary in just one month. Usually, fixed na yan. Hindi na yan matadagdagan pa. Unless, ma-promote ka. So in salary, in the other word, no overtime pay, no double pay, and no holiday pay. Fix ang sahod. Pag, sa, pag, pag sinabing salary. So number two, wage. Wage is a payment may be calculated as a fixed amount for each task completed or at an hourly or daily rate or based on an easily measured quantity of work done. So, wage naman ang tawag sa sahod na pwedeng magbago ang amount kapag nag-overtime, nag-undertime, or kung may na-accomplish na task in specific time. Also, sa wage, babayaran ka per time or per hour. For example, na-hire ka sa isang fast food chain business and the HR manager offers you a 50 pesos per hour rate and every overtime, ay babayaran. Also, kapag may holiday, bibigyan ka ng double pay at marami pang iba pwedeng idagdag sa wage. Pag sinabing wage. So, sa madaling salita, wage ang tawag kapag pwedeng magbago ang sahod anytime. Number three, income, it is a consumption and savings opportunity by a gain an entity within a specific time frame which is generally expressed in monetary terms. So, income naman ang tawag kapag sa ibabayad sa iyo kapag natapos mo ang requirements ng company or mayroon silang ipinagawa. Pag natapos mo yun sa specific time, babayaran ka nila. So, for example, in 15 days, natapos mo ang lahat ng trabaho at nakompleto mo lahat ng oras na dapat mong gawin or trabahuin. So, pag natapos mo yun, saka ka lang niya nababayaran. So, yung pag bibigay niya na sa yung bayad, ang tawag dun ay income. So, number four, benefits. Employee benefits in include the various type of non-wage compensation provided to employees in addition to their normal wage or salary. So, from the word addition, ibig sabihin, ito yung mga idadagdag sa na benefits or amount na pwede mong ma-avail kapag nagtatrabaho ka. Pwede sa wage at pwede rin sa salary. So, usually, ito yung mga additional na makukuha ng empleyado sa, empl sa employer nila, sa mga boss nila. So, for example, ng mga benefits are lebring bigas, lebring groceries, sick leave benefits, so, kapag mayroon kang sakit, pwedeng bayaran. Babayaran ka nila. Or kung gusto mong mag sick leave or mag leave muna for a while, babayaran ka nila kahit hindi ka nagtatrabaho. Isa yun sa mga benefits. At marami pang iba na pwede, pwede mong ibigay sa'yo ng company. Nakadepende yan sa business. So, why do people work? Bakit nga ba ang mga tao ay kailangan magtrabaho? So, meron tayong apat na reasons. Number one, people work to make money. So, ang mga tao, kailangan magtrabaho para may pera para panggastos sa araw-araw. Number two, people need money for food, for rent, and to have fun with their friends and families. So, kailangan nila magtrabaho para mayroon silang pambili ng pagkain, pambayad ng mga kailangan bayaran, at para maging masaya dahil kapag mayroon kang trabaho it means 
marami kang makakasala mo ko, meron kang social life at meron ding pati rin sa family mo dahil natutulungan mo sila sa mga basic needs nila nakakatulong ka sa mga gastusin so number 3 people work to learn new things and getting more skills so isa sa mga reason kung bakit ang mga tao ay nagtatrabaho para sa bagong kaalaman or new skills so may mga tao na gusto nyo lang matuto ng magturo gusto nyo lang maging accountant someday or gusto nyo lang makagain ng another skills na pwede nilang gamitin so for example kapag yung isang tao mahina siya sa oral pwede niyang isipin na magturo para yung kinakatakutan niya na mag oral pwede niyang ma overcome so new learning things learning skills yun pwede niyang ma adapt pwede niyang matutunan or ma pagtanggung pa yan kapag nakawit niya yung gusto niyang learning skills na gusto niyang matuto so number 4 people work to save and invest so yung mga tao nagtatrabaho para mag-ipon hindi lang puro gastos so bakit nga ba pa, para sa mga pag-iipon so kadalasan yung mga tao nag-iipon para meron silang ma-invest for example gusto niya lang magkaroon ng business so bago ka lang magkaroon ng business kailangan mo muna mag-ipon mag-ipon na mag-ipon or kung gusto mo meron kang bilhin na bahay at lupa or sasakyan kailangan mo muna mag-ipon pag bakuan mo yun bago ka makakapag-invest so mar at marami pang reasons kung bakit yung mga tao ay kailangan magtrabaho so let's proceed to the main topic which is the formula of getting the monthly salary semi monthly salary weekly salary and bi weekly salary so in this lesson um, provided na ang annual salary So, kailangan mo lang isolve kapag ang hinahanap ay monthly salary, semi-monthly, weekly, or bi-weekly. So, the formula of monthly salary is annual salary over 12 or divided by 12 because sa isang buwan meron tayong 12 months. So, sa, se sa semi-monthly salary naman, annual salary divided by 24. Bakit naging 24 yan? Kasi sa isang taon, meron tayong 12 months. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin ano yan, i-times yan sa 2. Para kasi sa isang buwan, dalawang pesos kang magbabahayad. Letter C, weekly salary, annual salary, oh, divided by 52 weeks. So, in total, sa isang taon, meron tayong 52 weeks. Kaya, annual salary divided by 52 is equals to weekly salary. So, number, letter D, by weekly salary is equals to annual salary divided by 26 weeks. Bakit naging 26 yan? Kasi, yung 52 weeks sa isang taon, magiging 26. Kasi, yung 52 divided by 2 is equals to 26 so imbes na weekly every 2 weeks siyang magbabayad or makakakuha ng sahod so para mas madaling maintindihan let's proceed to the examples so example Carla is earned annual salary of 109,200 so dito Si Carla daw, meron daw siyang sinasahod na 109,200 pesos. So, ang tanong dito, yung apat na formula. Lahat yun, oh, sub natin. So, unahin natin si monthly salary. Si monthly salary, ito yung formula niya. Annual salary divided by 12. So, the annual salary is 109,200 divided by 12 is equals to 9,100 So, ganun din sa letter B which is the semi-monthly salary Annual salary divided by 12 or 24 is equals to or transpose natin yung annual salary which is 109,200 divided by 12 is equals to 
4,550. So, ganun din sa letter C or weekly salary. Annual salary divided by 52 is equals to 109,200 divided by 52 is equals to 2,100. So, by weekly, meron siyang income na 2,100. So, by weekly salary naman, annual salary divided by 26, so transpose, or substitute the value, 109,200 divided by 26 is equals to 4,200. So, in monthly, kumikita siya ng 9,100. So, kapag semi-monthly naman, kumikita siya ng 4,550. So, pag weekly naman ang sahuran, 2,100 ang makukuha niya at kapag every 2 weeks or quincenas sa so Tagalog, so mas, ma mas madaling maintindihan nun, 4,200 ang income niya so ganun lang kadaling isolve yung problem na ito so what if they ask you for per hour so to convert monthly salary into hour rate we first determine the number of regular hours in a work week. Some companies have 40 hours work week, while the others have 48 hours work week. So, sa ibang company, meron silang 40 hours sa isang linggo, at iba naman, merong 48 hours sa, isa, sa isang linggo na kailangan tapusin ng mga empleyado. So, the formula of 40 hours is hourly rate is equals to weekly rate divided by 40 hours. So, kapag 48 hours naman, ganito, papalitan lang natin yung value ng denominator. So, hourly rate is equals to weekly rate divided by 48 hours. So, for example, what is per hour rate of Carla If she worked 48 hours per week with the weekly income of 2,100, so the formula is hourly rate is equals to weekly rate divided by 48 hours. So substitute the value. So weekly rate nya is 2,100 divided by 48 hours is equals to. 43 pesos and 75 centavos per hour. So therefore, Carla per hour rate is 43.75. So ganun lang kasi yung pling isolve yung problem sa salary. Kapag kailangan ikompet ang monthly, yun yun na lahat. Monthly, biweekly, weekly or semi semi monthly. So I hope you understand the lessons. Thank you for watching and